Well, when you're talking about shipments this big, 100 kilos, millions of dollars, uh, you know, I'm not going to ask where you got it from, but I'm assuming it's a foreign country, right? And at some point, didn't you want to just cut out the middleman and maybe fly to this country and start dealing with the guys directly as opposed fuck, to having a guy in the middle like this? No, no, nah, not me. I want the less exposure, the less chance of... I'm not flying no fucking foreign country when you can pay something such and such, take two, three thousand off each, whatever you want. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's too risky. That's me. But some people want to be like like that guy. You know, he want to be he want to be on the scene. He want to be not me. I want to be low key. I want to be out the way and uh, still, you know, getting money. But you know. Okay, so then April fifteenth, nineteen eighty nine. There was a show in D.C. called City Under Siege where they would essentially just talk about crime in the city and what's happening and so forth. Right. Your son and your son's mother are at home watching TV and they suddenly see you get arrested on television. Right. What led up to that arrest exactly? Um, they had a sealed indictment, you know, and... They chose that date for whatever reason to start rounding people up. And, um, you know, I was one of the ones. They was looking for all of us, but wherever, you know, if they could catch you and had the surveillance and you was there, because a lot of, like out of 29 or so people that got arrested, um, some got caught weeks later, depending on, like I said, where you was at and how they could get you. So I was one of the ones, um, you know, that the secret indictment was uh was open and, and they went to arrest. So that's that's what led up to but that that California bus with that for the for the hundred key, that was the really the, the, the last uh that's all they they felt that topped it off for for them to come. Even though it was a little while after they it happened that they did, but yeah. Well you're twenty six years old at the time. And you had mentioned this earlier, this was your first arrest ever in life? Ever in life, yeah. I mean, I had been on the block a couple of times. The jump out, come through, jump out, get up on the wall. You know, other people you say, but I never had nothing or nobody had, and they just keep on going. But they knew who I w was, and, you know, they, they, they just couldn't never get me, you know? Um, okay. Well, when you first get cuffed... You have money, you have lawyers, you know, you, you could fight it. Right. Are you initially thinking, okay, this is no big deal. I'm going to give my lawyer a hundred exactly. grand and I'll exactly. be out tomorrow. And exactly. But that shit wasn't like that, Vlad. They had it. This shit was set. It was serious. It was big. The way they was carrying it, man, um, they, we had no chance. But I'm thinking just like you got, I got my lawyer. I paid my lawyer. We ready. I'm going to be walking out this motherfucker in the next few days and shit like But. Yeah, I, I got surprised. It was it was real. It was serious. Okay, so you got no bond. Yeah, no bond. All right, and Rayful Edmund, did he get arrested during that same operation? Same, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you get arrested, Rayful get, gets arrested. You said 29 people as a whole get about, arrested, about right? About that, yeah, about that. Uh, well, and then two days later, the Washington Post did an article about the whole situation. Um, you know, you and Rayful Edmund were in the article as sort of the heads of the operation. It was actually a joint investigation between the DEA, the FBI, and, and the D.C. police. Right. Uh, they claimed uh, at the time that you and Rayful controlled 20% of the cocaine and crack mm. in the city. Mm. And they were saying that the network generated more than $2 million a week at that time. Mm. So are you asking me, is that the amount or? Was that accurate or? Mm, I would say not. Okay. More or less. Mm. Maybe one a week or one every two weeks, something like that, depending on. Things fluctuate, things happen, you know. Um, yeah, just, just different parameters. They might take one month and then they contribute that to the whole year or in the whole two, three years. And, you know, so yeah, it, shit varies. 
Well, I guess later on a witness said that she saw $3 million in cash at your house. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. That was one of the trips going out to, yeah, exactly. Dealing with this much cash before you got busted, how did you, you know, launder the money essentially? Well, um, different ways that I'm not going because uh, I, I, I very rarely I don't like to bring other people name up in what my deal is and but they just happen to be involved too. So um, yeah, different ways, man. You know. I mean, was there a bigger plan before you got busted? Like, okay, look, I'm going to stack up this much money, and then I'm going to maybe buy this business, and I'm going to always move into this yeah, industry. Yeah, and, always. And always. what was the plan? The plan was to. Honestly, for me to invest, um, um, provide for my son, family, where they won't have to maybe struggle like I did, and um, uh, and take care of my friends and, and relatives. You know, I was young. I should have. You know, I was. I didn't have that much. I should have had more sense than what I did. All that was good part. But it should have been an exit plan also, but I, that's what I didn't have. Thought it could just go on for however long, forever for the most part. But, yeah, you're young and, and young and dumb, you know, somewhat. Were you and Rayful in communication during this time and before the trials started? Yeah, we, we frequently, like, talk every day when, you know, when we were out in the world some kind of way, talk or see each other every day. Doing that. Right, but I meant after you guys were both in jail, because he didn't get a bond either, right? Right. Yeah, so we, we, you guys are both locked up for right. you know affiliated things. Were you guys in communication? Yeah, because to... we was in the same same place, DC jail. Uh -huh. You know, we got snatched out of went to Quantico Qu 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 Marine Base. So yeah, we was seeing each other. We, we was right there together.